Hey everyone, it's Crow from Children of Alara here today bringing you beautiful people another video. And today, we've got a secret lair drop. Bitter Blossom Dreams. But that's not all, because you know, that's not how we do it here in Children of Alara. No, we've got yes. two, three, you know what? Burning we've got them rush. all. So let's go ahead and make our way through all these amazing secret drop, um, secret layer drops. Before we do that, just remember to like the video, um, you know, if you're into it. Uh, subscribe ring that temple bell because this is how we're able to bring more stuff like this to your guys's attention um, and without further ado let's go ahead and break this all up so uh, secret layer it's pretty much like you know the cards themselves like this one is uh, bitter blossom dreams uh, it's gonna come with a copy of bitter blossom um, so that really it you know it's once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Uh, but what we're really trying to focus on here today is the, my apologies, uh, is the card, um, the exclusive Planeswalker that we're gonna be getting in uh, each of these drops. So let's take a look, see, there it is, Bitter Blossom. You know, I do not own a copy of this card, so finally, I do own my own copy. I just have to figure out what I'm going to be putting this uh, card into, or if I'm just going to keep it in the collection. Stoked to have it finally. Uh, definitely, you know, was one of the uh, the best drops, um, one of them, in this whole entire secret layer thing. All right, moment of truth. First planeswalker from War of the Spark. So basically, what this card is is it's one of the randomized uh, War of the Spark planeswalkers. Uh, with the stained glass artwork that was kind of like the whole entire uh, niche of War of the Spark. Um, so these are like, this is the only way that you can get these things. Really, really awesome. So I'm I'm praying, uh, I got my fingers crossed. Drum roll please. Let's see what we got. All right, Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. Uh, Taz is gonna be like flipping out right now. You get that cool stained glass artwork. So cool. So flipping cool, man. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's that's the one right there. Now we move on. Actually, let me put Bitter Blossom back inside of here. Then we're gonna tuck you away nice and nice and safe. Um you know, just for aesthetics. Um, all right, next up we have the Eldraine Wonderland. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's one each of uh, snow-covered um, lands. Uh, wish we could get more of these because, you know, the art on this was so amazing um, and just so well done. Uh, but the fact that we only get one of each is going to make, you know, blinging out an entire deck uh, of these kind of hard to do. Um, but if you're like a snow covered fan, then I wish you the best of luck. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys this one. I think that I'd watch like 5 billion videos on how to get these open. We got the snow covered plains, which looks absolutely amazing. Snow covered island, uh, snow covered swamp. Oh, God, it looks so, so beautiful. Snow covered mountain. Uh, what up, my Zozu players? No, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Obviously, or am I? I don't know. Uh, snow covered forest, sick. And then that's that's it. Yeah, you got you got the full Wooberg package right there in all of its Wuber glory. Uh, really excited for this. Um, thankfully mine, it doesn't look like they came too curled, but I am gonna be putting these in a double sleeve like as soon as I possibly can because I don't want them to 
curl any further because that'd be bad. We don't want that. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to tuck them back in there. All right. <clears throat> Planeswalker number two. What's it going to be, guys? What's it going to be? Woo! Whoa. All right. All right. That's pretty dope, guys. That's a that's a good pull right there. Gideon Blackblade. All right. And that's the um that's the Mythic Edition artwork. If I'm if I'm not mistaken. Like that's pretty cool. Woo! Awesome. Sick, sweet. Jeez. And this is why you guys come here. This is this is why you guys come here. Check out the funky fresh content. That's what's up. All right. So far, we're we're get, we're like firing on all cylinders. Can we keep it up? Keep in mind these are completely randomized. So, like that's the whole entire thing. It's like um we don't know. We don't know what's what what's going to be in there. You could get doubles if you get the whole set. Uh, so it's like ultimate gambling and you know obviously we had ordered the complete bundle without these planeswalkers being um, known to us so that was like a, a hidden special surprise that was uh, kind of tweeted about towards the tail end of the complete bundles uh, release window uh, I really hope wizards does more of this kind of stuff Um, the price point was kind of steep, but in terms of like all the stuff that that we got in the set It wasn't that bad. Like honestly um, it, it made me super excited to kind of see what What they were willing to do how how they're willing to kind of push the boundaries of uh, their products um, And yeah, it, it's just like all right, let's 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 go ahead and do it now this one, Restless in Peace, this one's probably the most underwhelming one. Um, you get a, uh, like, a, like a, a good card, uh, which that being Bloodgast. And then you also get Life from the Lamb, uh, but Golgari Thug kind of just was a thud. Um, but you know, if you're running Dredge in the Golgari colors, then this is a good, this is a good drop. But let's see. Let's see if we are able to recoup um, our losses with the card. Okay. Cameo, Collector of Tales. Great and Simic. You know, I was thinking of putting her into a deck, so maybe, maybe that artwork is the one I'll put in. I don't know. You guys will just have to wait and see. You guys will just have to wait and see. All right, so not bad. Um, you can, I think, I think you can get uncommon walkers in here, so you know we're off to, you know we're doing we're doing a good job. We're doing a good job. Uh, what is next? Seeing visions. All right, this one's pretty cool um, for like modern players uh, because you know it was a playset of um, a really you know uh, played card. Uh, seeing visions, right? I, I haven't even picked up any of these cards. Um, so I'm really excited. Serum Visions, yeah. Oh, jeez. God, my, my Magic the Gathering cred is dwaning right now. But hopefully you'll stick towards the end of this video uh, to kind of see what else we pull. Um, so yeah, all different artwork from different artists, which is just great how they're doing that um, you know you can take your favorite one you can trade it I know that's what a lot of people were saying um, in terms of what my favorite one is I'd have to go with this one this 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 front runner right here very beautiful artwork uh, symmetrical for the most part uh, and I think the second one would have to be this one um, just because it's kind of you know it's like super trippy uh, and then it would go this one, and then last but not least, it would be that one. So this is a very cool set. 
Again, I think a little more on the pricier side, I believe, but for someone who actually doesn't own a Serum Visions, it's really good. All right. Now, what do we got? What do we got for the walker? Oh, guys. Uh, ooh, all right. You know, if I was gonna get a uncommon walker, it would have to be Ashiok, um, just because they are really, really good when it comes to the you know, like any format. Uh, shuts down a lot of decks. So great right there. Um, I know the original one isn't on the front, but just pretend like it is. Okay. All right. We, so far, no dupes, which is great. Seriously, that's that's what we like to see. Uh, next up, we've got. Let me see. Yes. Explosion sounds. And this was one of the drops that surprisingly, I, I actually like really made me like, whoa. Okay, I kind of need Secret Lair because. Um, I do want to make a goblin EDH deck and again for someone who's relatively new to the game who doesn't own like a lot of cards from you know past Amon Ket block or before Amon Ket block um, this allows me to play catch up for the most part um, but also do it in a, in a fun and exciting way um, and it allows you guys to kind of come along for the ride as well so with this you get a bunch of goblin staples which is excellent for the goblin lover in you and they all make this cool panoramic uh kind of picture so you got goblin bushwhacker you got goblin sharpshooter goblin king goblin lackey and goblin pile driver and then again, if you kind of spread them all out, they make this cool panoramic picture, which is really, really cool. Uh, I love the art on it. Um, so the fact that this was one of the drops, I was like, yeah, all right, you've, you've got my money. Take my money, because I just want this thing in my, in my collection. But speaking about collections, what else did we pull? God, this is so like nerve wracking. Cause you know like these are the only ones uh they were made to order uh so like once the drop was done for the day then that was it you couldn't get it anymore so really really nerve-wracking so let's see what we got okay nahiri uh storm of stone meh uh it's a beautiful card it's a very beautiful card but in terms of sheer value not the best but again we got two more drops to go uh no dupes yet which is again great because uh, we don't want dupes in here we're trying to fill our collection all right now for the most uh hyped drop out of the entire series whether this be series one or this is just a one-off thing we don't know yet uh kaleidoscope killers um, Kaleidoscope Killers had a lot of Wooberg kind of staple cards um, that were normally only uh, available in a certain like one-off thing uh, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a little bit so hopefully this hopefully this box hopefully this drop is gonna be the drop so let's crack it open oh yeah oh wow yeah that looks beautiful that looks beautiful so we got again a bunch of wooberg creatures you know children of alara we love wooberg up in here uh reaper king which is excellent other scarecrow creatures you get uh, you control get plus one plus one whenever another scarecrow enters the battlefield under your control destroy target permanent so there's a lot that you can do it's harvest time um you know there's a bunch of scarecrow creatures in the game and then plus you know with wooberg at your disposal you can easily 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 go ahead and manipulate um things forced adaptation uh stuff like that so there's definitely ways that you can utilize this bad boy um easily uh next up oh yes sliver overlord 
Uh, I've been trying to make a sliver deck. So I think this is the last like somewhat expensive sliver that I needed with the exception of uh, sliver legion. Um, so sliver deck is looking a lot more likely uh, for children of Alara, which is great. Uh, sliver overlord again, Wooberg 7-7. Seven, seven. You pay three, search your library for a sliver card, reveal it, put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library, and then pay three, gain control of target sliver. So again, awesome. There's a lot of ways, again, you can play around with that, really control the board. So really excited to see it in our uh, repertoire of cards. This looks, you know, this is like the one I was like, meh, about, but seeing this artwork, it's just like, all right, that's pretty dope. Uh, the Ur Dragon. It's uh, four colorless and Wooberg. That's uh, for a 10 10, which is bonkers. Eminence, as long as Ur Dragon is in the command zone or on the battlefield, other dragon spells you cast cost one less to cast. As flying, whenever one or more dragons you control attack, draw that many cards, then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield, which is nuts. Getting this guy on, onto the field. Um, can potentially just shut down games because wow we this thing is bonkers um it's essentially it's almost like a yeah it's almost like a like a juiced up kalia almost but you can put anything on the field i didn't even think about that really cool super excited for that uh it was available in commander and i just made a mess um so really excited to kind of see that alternate artwork for cards that um, were a thing when we first started playing, really. Jeez. Jeez. All right. And then what do we have? No dupes, no dupes, no dupes. No dupes, no dupes, no dupes. <sighs> Our first dupes, guys. Well, maybe this is something that we can like raffle off or something. Well, we'll think about it. Uh, but first dupe, uh, Soren Vengeful Bloodboard. Um, so yeah, I, that just kind of goes to show you how, uh, actually random this whole entire thing is. There, bada bing, bada boom. Are you gonna stay? Okay. There we go. All right, guys, last one. It's been a wild ride. Again, before we crack this one open, um, it mean the world to us if you could just uh, click like, uh, talk with your friends about what we're doing here. Uh, we are trying to get content out more frequently, um, but that's really hard because it's really only kind of one of us uh, working on editing and you know, don't know that much about editing. But we're trying because uh, we, we, honest to God, love this game. We, we love interacting with um, you guys on the daily. So just please click that like. Um, subscribe if you kind of want more of it because uh, we're definitely going to be offering up a lot more and we, we want you guys to be along with us for that journey um, but before further ado we have omg kitties uh, this is the last one this one a lot of people were a little upset about uh, me personally i really don't care i think alternate arts are awesome uh, and i actually didn't pick up the deck Huh. Uh, the deck that these guys came in so you know what it's it's fine for me uh, I thought it was cool um, so I think the biggest gripe that people had was that this one is in foil um, but the goblin one is not in foil so it was kind of weird it was like well why is that um, you know you're not showing love to goblins but alright that's fine uh, and here we go, OMG Kitties. All right. And this is going to be the last drop that we check out. Um, but definitely not the video. The last video that you guys should check out. We got tons of more in the pipeline. Uh, Leonin War Leader. Whenever the Leonin War Leader attacks, create two one white, white cat creature tokens with lifelink that are tapped and attacking. <laughs> That's great. That's cool. And there they are right there, kind of playing in that background. Uh, Regal Crackle. 
Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, the catch you control, get plus one, plus one, and have a lifelink. When Regal Caracal enters the battlefield, create two one one white creature tokens with lifelink. All right. What do we got here? Quasali uh, Slingers. That's kind of like a weird art, but I guess it's all like, I don't know. But they have reach, which is actually really good for cats. Uh, have you seen a cat like jump, like pounce, how high they can go? See, I'm more of a cat guy myself. Uh, whenever Quasali Slingers or another cat enters the battlefield under your control, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. Oh, so it's kind of like an R shards on a body. That's pretty cool. Wow. I'm gonna make a cat deck. And this would be my avatar, or my uh, commander. <laughs> I'm reading an avatar right now. Uh, Arabo, <gasps> Roar of the World. Uh, it's a cat avatar for three and a green and a white. Gets you a 5-5, five, five, which also has eminence. We remember we saw eminence on uh, Ur Dragon. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if Arabo, World, Ra uh, Roar of the World, is in the command zone or on the battlefield, another target cat you control gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. Whenever another cat you control attacks, you may pay one and a green and a white. If you do, it gains trampling plus X, plus X until the control access its power. God, that's nuts. And these cards are like fresh, dude. Look at that. Fresh, no curling. Excellent. That's what we like to see up in here. Uh, last but not least, Miri, Weatherlight Duelist. Uh, really low cost, which is great. Has first strike. Whenever Miri, Weatherlight Duelist attacks, each opponent can't block with more than one creature this combat, which is nuts. As long as Miri, Weatherlight Duelist is tapped, no more than one creature can attack you each combat, which is also nuts. Wow. And then we have, because obviously a lot of these cards give you two cats kitty cats oh they're double sided too look at that that's cute I don't know why these aren't foil that's just weird huh so yeah that's that's all the drops that is secret layer guys but shh keep it a secret keep it a secret but you want to know it's not a secret our final poll guys do whatever you got to do that you do that gives you luck uh do it right now because uh, we're going to be unveiling this in five four three two one very fitting a johnny the great hearted uh this is perfect <laughs> it's in the cat drop uh he is a cat with in selesnia colors so i'm not mad at that uh it's very much on flavor uh so yeah there you go guys that's 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 all she wrote i'm very excited about this dude that gideon black blade like what crazy 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 yeah all right there you guys go um once again thank you so much for watching this video for hanging out um it means the world to us click that like button subscribe ring that temple bell because that needs a little bit of upkeep all magic puns aside and thank you guys so much we'll see you on the next video i've been crow you've been you peace out